two, three, four. Ah. Ah. Hey, friends. It's me, your friend, Mr. Dave, and I am so excited to have you here at RPK. I'm actually trying to see if I can break my all-time record of 100 jumps, but I keep getting stuck at like 10. Oh. <sighs> this is the last week in our month of May where we have learned to jump, jump, and go God's way. We learned about God's way in the garden with Adam and Eve. We remembered the tough lesson Jonah had to learn. We even talked about Naaman being healed and the young King Josiah. Today, we're gonna learn about Gideon. Oh, okay, we have so much to do together, but before I get too far ahead, I wanna see if you remember our bottom line from the whole month. All right, ready? Whose way is perfect? That's right, God's way is perfect. And we will see today, one last time, how God's way is perfect. All right, so let's go to the clubhouse and do the three things we do every week. First, we'll do our memory verse. Second, we'll sing and dance to our worship songs. And third, we'll hear a true story from the Bible. Now, after the story, I'll be back and we can talk and pray together. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Zoe, and I just found my old jump rope. But sadly, I can't jump in it right now because I have a cast. But I love that I get to jump in so many different ways. I could jump like a kangaroo. Or a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Or a grasshopper. It's so fun jumping in so many different ways. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Jumping all around, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. There are so many different ways I can jump. Jumping is fun. It's true. Jump, jumping God's way is perfect for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. There we go. <laughs> Hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I'm just making sure this is ready for my niece. She's getting a new frog tomorrow, and we don't want it to be able to jump away. <laughs> See? It's all done. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. That reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready. Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Gideon. One day, God said, take an army and go defeat the big, powerful Midianites. Now, Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So Gideon jumped, jumped, and went God's way. He got together the biggest army of men he could find. Ha <laughs> ha, look at all of them. They were ready to go. But God said, Gideon, you have too many men. Make the army smaller. Hmm. So Gideon said to the army, if anyone's afraid, you can go back home. Wow, that's a lot of men. How will they defeat the Midianites now? But Gideon knew that God's way is perfect. So he jumped, jumped, and went God's way. The army was now ready to go again. But God said, there are still too many men. Make the army even smaller. Take them to the water and tell them to get a drink. Then God said, the men who put their faces down to the water should leave. The men who lifted the water to their mouth with their hands should stay. Now there were only a few men left in the army. But God said, go and fight, I will be with you. So once again, Gideon jumped, jumped, and went God's way. Charge! And what do you think happened? Did they win or lose? They won, of course they did, because God's way is what? Perfect! <laughs> it's true. You know, sometimes when God asks us to do something, it doesn't always make sense. 
but we can trust that God's way is perfect. So we can jump, jump, and go God's way. Hey there, Ali. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Gideon jumped God's way, and you can too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. What a great story. Gideon started with a big army, and then God said, make it smaller. Gideon went God's way and won the battle. God's way is perfect. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! It's fun being able to do things like a frog or a kangaroo, but it's even better to do things God's way. God's way is perfect. I'm going to jump, jump God's way. I'll see you next time. Bye! What a great story. Gideon started with a big army, but God said to make it smaller, which probably didn't make sense. But Gideon went God's way and won the battle because God's way is always perfect. Sometimes when God asks us to do something, it doesn't make sense, but we can trust that God's way is perfect. And we can jump, jump, and go God's way. All right, so whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's right, you've got it. And Gideon knew it too. We can trust God because his way is perfect. All right, I want to pray with you and thank God for that. All right. God, thank you that your way is perfect. Thank you that you are perfect. Your way is perfect. Help us to trust your way, even when it doesn't make sense, God. Thank you for loving us, and we love you, God. Amen. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!